It was a really great job. I saw the most amazing things, but I didn't want to be stuck on a boat. Um, it was actually really hard to have a relationship or anything like that. Um, I was allowed one email a day. I didn't even have cell phone service, so I was pretty remote out there. And here are some photos of me just doing doing my thing as a uh, research biologist in Alaska. I worked for the state of Alaska, um, and we we're always off, off the coast out at sea. Um, so in 2016, I think it was, I joined Fortune Builders. And this is a photo of my very, very first flip. And it was in Anchorage, Alaska, and it was like negative 20 degrees during most of it. So that one over, well, I guess let me use my flare. This one here where I'm jackhammering in the basement, um, this was negative 20. I remember that day like it was yesterday. It was grueling. We had to reroute some plumbing. Um, most of it was me and my partner working in the business. Um, we did a lot of the work ourselves and it was hard. And in the end, um, here down here in the bottom right was before, this is some during, this is before, top left and top right is after. After a year's worth of work, um, we pretty much broke even. So it was kind of like a year of our life learning. We learned a lot, but kind of losing money, I guess. We didn't make any money. Um, this next one was our second flip. And we did a lot of the work, but we actually um, outsourced it. We hired a general contractor to kind of do most of it, even though we did work there a lot of the time. That one was a little bit shorter. It was like three months and we still pretty much broke even. So the first couple flips in Alaska were not very successful. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about was, I don't know if you guys have heard the E-Myth, but I highly, highly recommend it because if you continue working in the business doing the work like I did at the beginning, you're a technician. And what I really wanted to do was become the entrepreneur where I was working on my business and not in my business. And the email talks about um, kind of a, um, like at the bottom is a uh, the technician, then the next step is the manager, and then at the very top of the pyramid, is is the entrepreneur and so if you're just starting out in the business it's like where are you at are you the technician and then what do you need to do to become the entrepreneur that you know only needs to work four hours a week and you're you're making money work you know working on your business so um here is what we do now. I feel like there was something else I wanted to talk about. Anyways, the, this new construction is what we do now. We traveled from Alaska doing flips that weren't very successful and we are like, we need, we felt like a small goldfish in a little bowl and we were like, what can we do um, to you know, outgrow where we're at now? And we heard about the Austin, Texas market and we decided to move, sell everything, hop in our, our Jeep, put a rooftop tent on top of it, and we drove from Alaska through Canada down through the U.S. to where I'm at now, which is Austin, Texas, three years ago. So uh, we, we camped the whole entire way. It was awesome. It took six weeks. And once we got here, what we learned is that Texas, Austin, Texas has certain properties zoned SF3, and if it's zoned SF3 and it's a certain square footage of 5,750 square feet, then you can actually build two homes on the property, and then you can condo regime it and sell them separately, and that allows us to you know, 10x our return on investment. So that's what we've been doing since we've been here. And we started doing the five-star Austin Energy Green Build ratings because, um, you know, my passion for the environment with my biology background. So we do the whole nine yards. We do spray foam insulation. 
LED lighting, um, even architecturally, we determine how many windows on, you know, north, south, east, or west side because of the sun and everything is very, very thought out. And it's actually really, really hard to get this rating. So we're really proud of the fact that we do five star Austin Energy Green Build rated homes now. And not even required by Austin Energy, but we put solar panels on our homes as well. And that's just really more a part of um, our core values and our mission. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, virtual staging. This is a way to not spend thousands of dollars getting your home staged. It saves you money, it's easy, and it won't damage your home. Um, sometimes we've done staging and when they're taking the staging out, they scratch to the brand new floor or whatever. So these are actually photos of a home once it's done. And you can go on to like Fiverr or Upwork and you can um, pay a VA to virtually stage your home. And it's done quickly and super cost effective. And that's the way that, that's how we sold this home. That the um, photos here do not actually have real staging. That's all virtual. So this is an example of when the home is done, take, photos and then hire a VA to have the VA virtually stage it. What I'm doing now, so I don't even do this anymore, but that is an option if you're interested in it. What I do now is I do renderings. So these photos here are actually uh, realistic renditions of what the home will look like. This home is not even done yet. It's in construction. I just got the framing up. But these renderings allow me to put it on the MLS if I want to and pre-market the heck out of it. And I actually have multiple offers coming in on this one because of these renderings. So it allows pre-marketing. I normally do the kitchen, the master bedroom, master bath, and the exterior. The reason that I do four is they're a little bit more expensive than doing the virtual staging like the one I showed you before. These ones are a little over $200. A, uh, rendering is what I'm paying for these good ones. I think it might vary depending on who you hire and the quality that you want. I know there's a lesser quality that might not cost this much, but it is allowing, this is how I sell my homes, pre-completion. So I get them under contract, and then the minute that they're done, I sell them to the new homeowner. I'm not stuck with the carrying costs that's really expensive if you're using hard money or private money, and you get them sold right away. You don't have to sit on the market at all. Um, it works really, really well in a competitive market like Austin is now. It's very much a, a seller's market here. Um, these are ones that I recently sold. Uh, the left rendering, or I'm sorry, left is a real photo. The right photo over here is the rendering that allowed me to sell it. And you can see that they come out really, really well. Um, it, it's pretty factual. Uh, same here. Um, guess what one the rendering is? People think that when I post photos of the renderings, people think the home is complete. And I'm like, it's still five months away from completion, but you can go walk it, the framing's up. So the right over here is a rendering, the left over here is an actual photo of once it was complete. So um, some stuff we talked about, we talked about the fact that I'm from Alaska, the e-myth, uh, like becoming the technician, the manager, the entrepreneur, the new construction method that I'm using, virtual staging and renderings. Um, so here is, um, I'm just gonna leave this up here for a minute, Fortunate Foundations, my name is Leanne. You can find me on my website, fortunatefoundations.com or I'm also on Instagram and Facebook at Fortunate Foundations on both of them. And I am here if you have any questions.